Hi guys, you're just going to wrap up this first part um, of our unit on two-dimensional shapes and their properties. So there were a few kids tripped up on some of the work. Um, I'm going to give an example of kind of like where I was seeing trouble. And I had one problem where it asks, um, tell me why a shape would fit in one group but not the other. Um, and the shape I'm going to pick is a pentagon. So that shape is a pentagon and the one that I could use easily for an example would be like a picture of a house. If you're a little kid and you're drawing the beginning stages of a house. So let me draw that for you. And here we go. So a very basic pentagon. So this could be grouped with a shape that has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. Um, this is an acute angle because it's less than 90 degrees. This is an obtuse angle along with this angle here because it's larger than 90 degrees or uh, larger than a square corner, I should say. And this is a square corner and that's a square corner right here because if you take a piece of paper, you could literally put the corner of the paper right here and it would match and line up perfectly. So this be could be grouped with shapes that have five sides, shapes that have two square corners, shapes that only have one set of parallel lines. So here's the one and here's its pair over here or it's, it's opposite pair over here, our side. Um, but that's what they mean. So this would not fit in a group if it said shapes that have three or less sides. That shape couldn't go there because it has more than three sides. Does that make sense? Um, also, it, this could not fit in a group that only has square corners because like I said, this is an acute um, angle this is obtuse and these are right or square corners. Okay. So it doesn't only have square corners. I know yesterday's assignment was kind of tough and that's okay. Just do your best guys. Um, I'm not going to be too harsh on the grading. I'm not there to teach you this in person. So that wouldn't be fair. Right. Um, so if you have questions, just keep emailing me. You guys are doing a really good job doing that. Um, just keep doing it. Okay. And if you've emailed me already, you know that I'm pretty laid back. Um, I wish I could teach you this stuff in person, but just keep in mind that this might be something that you start with when you start in fourth grade next year, okay? Um, today, you're just going to wrap up this first part of our unit, and you're just going to, it might be set up like a quiz. It's an, If the paper says quiz on your screen, or if you're doing it in um, like a Google form type of assignment, please don't worry. It is not a quiz, okay? It's just for me to see, again, what we've learned as a whole third grade. Um, and it lets me know what I need to pass on to the fourth grade teachers um, next year for when you go to them. Um, I've been seeing some of your faces here and there. If you have a question and you wanna ask me personally, tell your parents, they can email, email me and then that way we can set up um, a Google Hangout chat online and maybe I can help answer some of your questions there um, because sometimes it's just easier for me to explain what you're supposed to do on your assignment than it is for me to type it back and forth while I'm on your work. Now I can do that. So if you're on your assignment and you email me and you say, hey, I'm looking at number two on today's work. Can you hop on and look at it for me? I can do that for you as long as I'm not on a conference call or working on another assignment. So if you're patient, I can get there and I can help you the best that I can. All right, so that's another option for you. If you're completely stuck, my advice is to take a break take a breather, go run around. If it's nice out, run outside for a few minutes, go play, and then go back to your assignment because there's no sense in you getting upset over math, right? We've talked about that before. So um, again, you're doing a really, really good job. Um, you guys are little superheroes. So I'm giving you credit for that. You guys have been doing amazing. Um, you're learning online. You're the first class I've ever had to do that. And um, I just want you to know that I'm proud of you guys. Okay. So just keep up, keep it up. Um, be optimistic. Think I can do the best I can, right? Um, if you need help, then wait for your parents to get home or email me, right? Don't panic. Don't be upset. Um, we'll get through this together. Okay. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. It was beautiful outside today. So um, I'm filming this on Tuesday. Um, so I hope that you were able to get out and enjoy the sunshine. Um, I can't wait to see your forts tomorrow or 
today, Wednesday. Um, so please share those with us and I'll make sure to look on the Morgan website. You can share your pictures with Mrs. Niebel. So if you make a picture of a fort or take a picture of the fort you made, uh, email Mrs. Niebel the picture and she will share that for you on the Morgan page. I believe your parents can also go on the Morgan Facebook page and throw your picture on there for you. Um, all right, guys, I miss you so much and I will talk to you later. Bye.